the 92 kilogram heavyweight division is between boxers from England and Ukraine. We're in the third preliminary round of the 92 kilogram heavyweight division bracket. So the winner goes through to the quarter final stage. The English boxer is the man wearing red, Lewis Williams, 22 years of age, competing in his third bout of Belgrade 2021. His opponent is 24 year old Robert Martin of Ukraine. And it's his second bout of the World Championships, having received a bye in the first preliminary round. Now, these two men have met before. And this is a rematch on the World Championship stage, but in the 2019 under 22 European Championships in Vladikavkaz, neither man heeding the instruction to break. Lewis Williams boxed his way to the silver medal podium in that tournament in the heavyweight division, and he eliminated Robert Martin in the first preliminary round on a 4-1 split. So they know pl all about each other. After that meeting on the continental stage, here they are boxing at the World Championships. And Lewis Williams has been very impressive in his two completed contests so far. His left jab has been a dominant weapon. And when, he sides, when he's got onto the front foot behind that left jab, while well his opponents, Raouf Raimov, the national championship gold medalist of Azerbaijan, and Indrit Lachi of Albania, well, they have found it very difficult to deal with. It's been filled with variety. It's been accurate. It's been sharp. It's been heavy. And everything has flowed magnificently from it. He'll be looking to establish that weapon here today. But Robert Martin, well, he's got plenty to say about that. The reigning five-time national champion of Ukraine. Well, it's rather untidy, this one. You see Lewis Williams turning his palms up in the direction of the referee and saying, well, hold on a minute. What do you want to do? The man keeps... Spinning me around, and look, there's the same move once again. He's going to have to watch himself for my money here, Robert Martin. Well, this is bordering on the ridiculous now, because the same move was almost carried out once more. With Martin winding up around the back of Lewis Williams. So the referee having to intervene with a high degree of regularity here because this is what's happening all the time there's a good right hand that inconvenienced Robert Martin a very untidy opening round in this contest neither man really able to establish their boxing and that's principally because they were ending up in tangles at close quarters I think Lewis Williams did the better work that's why he has taken it on a 3-2 split. But Martin taking it for two judges. It was such an untidy round. That very little clean scoring was done. This is what we saw for the majority of the opening three minutes. Malls on the inside. And more often than not, Robert Martin would wind up around the back, right on cue of Lewis Williams. That happened on a number of occasions. So a very untidy round between these two familiar rivals. So we go into the second round then. Lewis Williams edging the first on a 3-2 split where truth be told, there was precious little scoring punching from either man because they spent most of the time in this type of posture. And the way, the, the amount of times which the referee has had to speak to both boxers, none of them, neither of them heeding the commands, I think they're going to have to watch themselves because a warning could well be forthcoming here. And that would really change the complexion of things. There's a good left jab from Williams. He keeps a gap between himself and his opponent. Both men claiming one another on the inside once it got to beyond long range. Long range for you, Lewis Williams, though he's out of punching range for Martin. Lewis Williams, just over two meters tall, towering figure. 
of a 92 kilogram heavyweight boxer trying to get over the front foot and score with the left jab again and it's another grapple fest on the inside. I'm not quite sure how many more times the referee is going to speak to the boxers about the infringements that are taking place. Good double jab from Marton. Lewis Williams aware of that. Comes back with a jab of his own but it was countered. So, halfway through the second round, there has been more clean scoring. That forward foray did see a left hand get through from Martin. Remember, the first round edged on a 3-2 split for Lewis Williams. Martin spoken to about rabbit punching around the rear of the head. Left jab to the body is a scoring shot from Martin before he... The two men claim one another on the inside once again. So both men fainting beyond punching range. But as soon as the initial shots don't land, this is how the boxers end up entwined on the inside once again. And neither boxer really working with any great effect on the inside. Well, this is a problem for Lewis Williams here. Well, we said a point deduction may well be forthcoming. Is it going to be both ways? No, it's only in the direction of Lewis Williams. For my money, I think both parties have been equally culpable in that regard. But it's Williams who has been issued with a warning which will result in a point deduction. Now, what we've seen throughout Belgrade 2021 so far is that the point deductions have been accounted for in the round where they have occurred. So we see them on the graphics. Now, who's, who won that round? Martin landed, Martin landed some good singles. You can see Lewis Williams is taking it on a 3-2 split again. But you can see from the scorecards, he's leading 19-18 on two cards. He's trailing 19-18 on another card. So the point deduction has been accounted for in this second round. Lewis Williams issued with a warning for holding. And this rematch between these two. Sees the two styles not gelling at all to produce an appealing contest, but it is very competitive and it's in the balance and powering out of the blocks. Well, if Lewis Williams has been hit with a warning, surely one has got to be forthcoming for Robert Martin if he continues in this vein. Because again, I think both parties were equally culpable. Martin doing just as much holding as Lewis Williams. Thirty seconds gone. A bright, a brisk start from Robert Martin. But again, the boxers just grappling with one another when they get to close range. And Lewis Williams keen to show the referee that he's not the one doing the holding. But right in sight line of the referee. It ensues once again. Martin trying to get that right hand free to work away. Well, here it comes for Martin. And again, that probably a fair reflection of what has taken as of what has taken place with regard to the excessive holding the, on the inside. Martin not too far away with his right hand. Again, from my perspective. Both men doing just as much holding as the other. <laughs> Admonishment in the direction of both. Double jab attempted from Martin. So again, given the fact that the rounds, that the warnings, the point deductions are being accounted for in the rounds where they occur, 
Robert Martin facing a real uphill struggle now, but the manner in which this one's conducted is not beyond the realm of possibility that a point is going to be deducted from Lewis Williams again in the remaining minute. Wow, plenty of commitment being shown by both boxers, but wow, this is an untidy contest indeed. Almost resembles a tackling drill from a gridiron field. With the boxers charging into one another repeatedly. Good right hand to the body from Williams. And then again. More entangling on the inside. Right after the interruption of the referee, it happens once more. What an untidy contest has just transpired here. Now, for what it's worth, given that point deduction, I think it's going to be Lewis Williams who will have his hand raised as the victor. His point deduction was accounted for during those second round scores. But what a messy affair that was. But this is a results business for these two boxers representing their nations. And I think the result that is going to be logged into the record books will see Lewis Williams declared as a victor. Perhaps Robert Martin seeking some divine intervention here before he makes his way to centre ring. But I'm not sure the boxing gods are going to heed that call, let's get the official verdict. I think Lewis Williams is going through. Could well be split. But I think the man in red will have his hand raised. And there's confirmation. A split decision victory for Lewis Williams over his familiar rival. A repeat victory. In a foul-filled affair, Lewis Williams takes it on a 3-2 split. Hard 